I got some new stuff. You want to check it out? Here we have my new injector cover made out of stainless steel. This is step one. Plasma cut. Uh, the link will be in the description to the person who made this for me. So I'm on the Neon forums on Facebook and uh, saw a guy making these injector covers and had him custom, uh, I don't know, inscribe it, I guess you would say, with the AAR. Anybody knows my cars from back in the day, me and my buddies, we had a little crew going, all American racing, so that's what that stands for. So it's kind of a little uh, paying homage to back in the day. So this is the first step. My plan is gloss black powder coat to match everything that's in my engine bay. And hopefully I'm going to put a piece of metal behind here. A piece of rectangle metal there and a long rectangle there. That will be powder coated silver. That way it's black and silver to match the theme on my car. So let's get this thing off the powder coat. Here it is, back from powder coat. Gloss black finish with silver pieces of aluminum behind it. Oh yeah, baby, looking good. Show you guys how I attached it to the back. It's kind of ghetto, but you get the gist of how it was done just in case anybody else wants to do this. I just powder coated two pieces of aluminum used some RTV that I use at work that thing's not going anywhere those uh... <clears throat> that RTV will hold oil pans on cars without bolts so to withstand heat it's not going anywhere ever and it looks great so got the custom AAR on there all american racing little crew I had back ten years ago trying to get it up and going again see what this bad boy looks like on the car Okay, so here's the setup without the cover. It's going to be covering up this fuel rail right here and all that wiring and hopefully making it look real nice. Let's get it on there. Here she is looking beautiful. Oh yeah, that is beautiful right there. So the engine bay is pretty dirty right now because it's been 5 degrees all week long and this is our first halfway decent day. So I'm taking this opportunity to throw that on there. It really cleans up the engine bay gets rid of all them wires so now we just gotta clean up this side of the engine bay this side's pretty good got rid of the power steering AC all that stuff new hoses intake manifold it's coming together nicely one step closer just want to take this time to properly thank the two people who helped me out on that fuel rail cover uh, Jason Henning he's the one who made the cover itself and Tom Santos, he's my local powder coder. So I'm going to leave links in the description to both of them guys if you want an injector cover made <clears throat> for your neon. They do first gen neons, SRTs, all that stuff. And then if you want some local powder coding done, I uh, definitely recommend Tommy Boy, 12 second Tommy Boy.